Hi everyone, James here again, doing another video review on another FPV micro quad. This one is the Horizon Hobby Blade FPV Nano QX. If anyone are familiar with the, the Nano QX, the original Nano QX, which has been out for, for about a year and a half now, if they, they've really done a great job putting, uh, making an FPV version of this. Uh, if you haven't checked out the review for the FPV, the Frodo X FPV quad, this is gonna be the competitor. The only difference between this one and that one is gonna be this one will actually have the goggles for it. Um, and there are other key features to this, um, which is gonna make it stand besides the, the, um, the Proto X FPV version versus the uh, Nano QX version of the FPV. So uh, let's go ahead and check outside, the, check the box real quick. Um, really nice packaging design. I um, really like this. Um, it features the Fat Shark brand. So Horizon, Horizon Hobby had really partnered with uh, partnered with uh, Fat Shark to, to bring their product uh, readily available into the states here, and and uh, it, it's really great. Also, want to give a quick thank you to HobbyOhio.com. Once again, that's HobbyOhio.com for providing the product to me and allow me to uh, able to check out this and review the products uh, that that you're seeing today. So um, let's go over and go some quick features of which are I'd say it's outside the box. Like I mentioned before, it does have the Fat Shark goggle system in it. Um, let's see here, um, fly assist, uh, fully assembled aircraft, so no assembly required, FPV equipment, uh, headset, um, it's Horizon's exclusive Fat Shark telemetry V4 headset digital head tracking technology. Now what that means is it does have head tracking, but the digital head tracking means it zooms the picture, and then, the, then you're, when you move your head, the picture moves within that single frame. So the actual nothing moves on the camera itself, it is actually a digitally enhanced picture. Um, so don't get that mistaken with the with a traditional head tracking that you may have seen on the internet before. A transmitter, it's just a basic four channel transmitter, something that would normally come with the, 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 the typical nano, nano QX that you would normally see. Uh, the battery is still the 150 milliamp uh, 1S LiPo battery. Uh, once again, guys, if you, if you aren't educated on LiPo batteries, um, please go do your research and, and kind of do some education on that. It does come with a charger, a little thumb drive charger uh, that you would plug into a, a, a iPhone charger or a, um, a computer laptop. Anything with USB that has power to it, you can use that to, to charge on that. Um, let's see here, basically everything else. Let's go ahead and take a look inside the box real quick. So straight out of the box, what we have, we have this, the instruction manual, manual sitting on top. Let's go and open that and see what's inside this bag here. So we actually have the manual, it's pretty thick, probably in multiple different languages. Yep, got the manual. We do have an extra set of props in here. We got clear and blue, extra set of props. Clear and blue. Extra set of rubber grommets for the canopy. Got an informational sheet, tells you about uh, plugging in the copter and letting it initialize for five seconds before uh, bothering it. Um, one quick note of, on the Nano QX, and this is for the new and the old Nano QX, it's very important if you do purchase this product, when you do plug in the battery and you need to, as soon as you plug the battery in, you need to set it on a flat surface for five seconds to allow the gyro to initiate. It initiates every single time you plug the battery in, so it's not gonna remember the last initialization that you did. So it's very important every time you do that, you keep that on a flat surface, but this is what this little piece of paper is stating, uh, just basically explaining that, the importance of that. Um, I heard it, is, it was an issue, uh, people are having a lot of issues with with it not flying correctly just because of that. Uh, let's see. Looks like we have just a manual, I think, for the battery. Yeah, explaining all the different batteries, the light foot battery charger. So say a safety guide on the battery, very important to read. Um, looks like we have another little rubber, um, uh, double-sided stick rubber thing that will, um, so if you ever had to replace the main board on it or move the main board, uh, they give you an additional one to remount the main board. And then, and then just a basically informational sheet of all the different part numbers, which you would need, um, and all the certifications of the of the aircraft for the FCC and stuff like that. So just basically 
all the logistical stuff. So that's what's in the accessory bag. All right. In the other Fat Shark box, this is going to be the first version, first box of the Fat Shark. Uh, I think this is just the power adapter for all the for the system itself to charge the charge up the goggles. Um, but you have the U.S. plug. Forgive me, I'm not going to know all these plugs. Uh, another plug for a different country. Another plug. And another plug. And then after that, we actually have the, the actual power adapter that allows you to recharge the Fat Shark. Put that aside. Right. Let's go ahead and get to the other stuff. So we have the actual goggles. So this is, looks like the Fat Shark goggles. Very nice hard case. Um, the case itself is very firm. So if you had ever got a little little strap, you can hook it to a bag or, or anything like this. Um, let's see what's inside the bag here. We got a lens cleaner, really soft cloth lens cleaner. We got a Joy Fat Shark Pass the Quality Test. We've got the LiPo battery. This is a two cell battery. So 7.4 volt, two cell LiPo battery. Once again, once again, the uh, battery itself is, is, you know, pretty good size. All right, got the battery for that. Got the antenna. This is an adjustable antenna that you, that you can mount on the side of the goggles itself. All right. So those are the goggles with the antenna on it. The battery slides in the side here. Like that. And that plugs into the side of the Fat Shark antenna. Just on a quick side note, um, this particular unit retails for $419.99. With that said, that seems a little pricey. What you're really paying for are the goggles. Um, if you've done any kind of research on Fat Shark and the goggles itself, the goggles most of the time retail for around four to five hundred dollars. So with it bundling with this package around the four nineteen mark, you, it's a really actually added value that you're that you're getting this this particular unit with the goggles and, and the and the unit itself. So keep that in mind. It is on the higher end of the pricing structure when it comes to micro FPV stuff, but this can be used for multiple products. Um, they even sell the individual cameras uh, that you mount on different things. So this isn't just strictly just for the Nano QX, uh, but it can be used for other products that Horizon has. So keep that in mind when purchasing this product that that is just not a one, one product a solution. It, this is basically an initial investment, just like you would buy a controller or, or, or something like that, that it can be used for multiple things. Same thing for the goggles, so just keep that in mind. Um, so those are the FPV goggles. Let's go ahead and open up the... So we have the controller. Once again, it's a basic blade controller. There's nothing special about it. Um, you know, it's, it's plasticky. It's, it's the trim buttons. If you've ever owned a blade helicopter or a, a, any kind of ready-to-fly helicopter, this is basically the controller that you're getting. So nothing too crazily special there. It's just, you know, it's a controller. Um, Comes with AA batteries. It's for the controller. USB charger, what I was telling you about. One hundred and fifty milliamp battery. LiPo. Let's go ahead and get this out of here. Get the copter out. Taped it down really well here. All right, and this is the copter. Very impressive. It's small, very compact. Comes with a lens cap cover, which I suggest keeping just in case for storage. Does come with a little lens cap um, just to protect the lens. 
uh, but it does have a clover leaf antenna, which gives you an awesome range. Um, they're saying this is around, I think, 95 meters. Don't quote me on that. Uh, I think that's what they're saying around that, that that's the distance it can go. Um, so a little over a football field, if, if I'm correct off the top of my head. But um, the distance isn't too crazy. But once again, you're flying something this small. You don't want to go too crazily far with it. Um, just make sure you, you know, just keep it in sight. Uh, another thing with, with Nano QXs, these are low-flying quadcopters. You do not want to fly these any excessive higher than 10 to 12 feet, uh, especially outside. Indoors, you can do whatever you want, uh, but do not go excessive. Don't go above 12, 12 to 15 feet. Like I said, we, in my experience, I've actually had one fly away in that aspect because it got so high, it just got, just kept flying. So uh, if you do this, this particular one or any Nano QX, make sure you keep it, you know, under, under 10 feet, just so you always have a visual on it and you can always cut the throttle if you need be. Um, so that's kind of a little side note, but the camera is mounted up front. It's a micro camera, and we're gonna do some closer looks at this too. I'm actually gonna charge this battery up and we're gonna do a quick, uh, just a quick test flight around the studio here and, and kind of uh, see what kind of uh, images we can get off of it. Unfortunately, uh, this one does not do any kind of recording at all. It's a strictly FPV module, so what you see out of your goggles, unfortunately, you won't be able to capture that information coming off the goggles unless you plug into a side source on the side of the on the side of the um, the the goggles itself to catch that audio source coming into a secondary recorder. But uh, unlike the unlike the Proto X FPV, uh, you are not going to be able to record what you're what you're actually seeing in flying. So that is one one small drawback. But once again, this is a very very nice, well built thing. It's very durable. Um, so the pros against pros against durability. Uh, this is this is basically the same frame that, there's a, that I'm accustomed to seeing on the traditional Nano QX, which is very very durable uh, in the aspect of it'll take a beating and keep on, on keep on going. Uh, on the flip side of the Proto X uh, FPV, that frame if that frame ever breaks or gets damaged in any way, that is a circuit board. So basically at that point you might as well just you know whoosh, chuck it. So um, let's get this charged up. And once again, I need to mention our sponsors real quick, HobbyOhio.com. HobbyOhio.com provides us all this great gear to, to do reviews on and, um, and just be able to put our hands on it and play with it and give you guys more information. Once again, that's HobbyOhio.com. Check them out. Please you know, support them. Um, and once again, they, they, you support them, they support me. And, and once again, we can keep making video reviews and I'm gonna keep rolling them out as, as much as I can. So once again, thanks to HobbyOhio.com and let's get this stuff charged up and do a quick test flight. All right, guys, we're all charged up and we're ready to fly. Got the QX. Let's go ahead and try the flyability of this sucker and see how she flies. Throttle control is a little sensitive. Once again, this controller is an entry level controller. Uh, it's basically the stock controller that comes to get away the ground effect there. But really smooth, really, really smooth controls. Uh, if you push down on the right stick, it puts it in low rate mode, so it makes everything a little bit more lazy for you. Um, but all, all in all, it, it flies really, really well. Uh, let's check out the yaw. Really yaw is really smooth in the aspect of uh, just, just staying exactly where it's supposed to be when you yaw. It stays on its axis. Um, just got done, if you watched the previous review, we just got done doing the, um, the, the Proto X version of this. And that when you yawed that particular copter, it would want to kind of fall out of the sky by the fall of the sky on you. And um, this one, this one is just got, it's really, really agile, very agile. So you're basically more hands-on, that's hands-off basically. So it's really, really steady um, in the aspect of just everything. I mean, look, I mean, hands off, that's, that's amazing. Pretty impressive, really impressive. Once again, everyone, I appreciate you taking your time and watching this. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to my channel. 
I'm going to be doing more unboxings and reviews and flight tests and, and different things like that. Um, also, thanks again to HobbyOhio.com. Once again, HobbyOhio.com um, to, to, to helping us apply the products that we have today to being able to show them to you and uh, demonstrate them and, and give you some idea, give you some idea of the product before you go out there and purchase it. But once again, subscribe below. Thanks again to HobbyOhio.com. I'll see you guys later.